Pig Out. You're invited to Roach Farm and Garden Spring Pig Pickin' this Saturday, April 25th. Free lunch with local favorite Waylon Hitchcock cooking a whole hog with all the fixins. Special giveaways one every minute. And special prices on Bonnie plants with many to choose from. Saturday only, 10 10 10 is only $7.75. Wild Game Shorgum is $24.99 and Brown Top Millet only $30. Buy a $5 ticket and you can win a four gallon fryer raffle. So pick out this Saturday from 11 to 1 at Roach Farm and Garden Spring Pig Pickin'. Hello everybody, I'm Pilar Archila with Pure Gold and I'm sitting here with Mr. Mike Cummins and he is co-owner of the Sir Shop. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. Well, for quite some time I wanted to sit here with Mike and here we are. I'm glad that we finally got together. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yes. Um, are you from Lawrence County? No. Uh moved to Dublin in 1975. My business partner Bill Hoyt and I opened a surf shop in April of 1975 okay. and we've just recently celebrated our 40th anniversary in Dublin. Oh that is wonderful. So, so from the Carolinas you went to Statesboro? I started, uh, uh, in, grew up in South Carolina. My dad was in the textile business and he was transferred to Kentucky and I started college in Kentucky and then they were transferred to Georgia, and I followed them back down to Georgia and came to Georgia Southern. Oh. And uh, that's where I worked at a men's a clothing store in Statesboro, and Bill and I worked together there. Okay, so you met Bill in Statesboro? Correct. We worked together at a men's store uh, while we were going to school. That is so cool. Yeah. And um, what about your wife? Did you meet her? Met Deborah, my wife, at um, Georgia Southern. She's from Savannah, and um, we were married, and she was teaching school. She taught in Claxton uh, when she first got out of school, and then we came to Dublin. She was in the city school system, and when we had children, she stayed at home with the children, and then when she went back to school uh, to teach, she uh, went with the county system, and she was at just recently retired out at Northwest Lawrence. Oh, really? So. Well, one of my children went to Northwest Lawrence. Yep. Um, well, and he's already out of school, out of college, but he actually, when we moved to Dublin, he went to, actually it was Southwest first, and then he went to Northwest. Right. And, uh, but yeah, we, we went through the county schools too. Um, you mentioned children. Yeah. How many children do you have? We have three children. We uh, have Brandon, who is our oldest, uh, Lindsay is our middle child, and Creighton is our youngest. Um, Lindsay's just recently had our second grandchild. Oh, that's... John Henry is uh, a month old, and we have a granddaughter, Kate, who is uh, 22 months. So Tell me, Mike, is it grandchildren the best thing? I, I heard people <laughs> talk about it, and I couldn't believe it, but when you experience it, it's, it's something like nothing else. It's really amazing. Well, tomorrow, my grandson, he will be eight years old, yeah. and uh, I spend the weekend with them, and let me tell you, I can never have enough. Yeah. I enjoy that. And our granddaughter, which is our first girl, uh, because I have three sons and one grandson, so our first girl, she'll be five in two weeks, and I, it's just amazing. It, it changes your life. It's, it does. Uh, all of a sudden, I want to go to Atlanta. There you go. A lot. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I keep joking. I need to buy a helicopter, uh -huh. but not really because I have to work all over the state of Georgia. It's because I want to go and visit my babies. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a tug there pretty much every day. Yes. So what is your daughter doing besides being a full-time mother? <laughs> well, she traveled a good bit. When she, my, all three of my kids graduated from Georgia Southern. Uh -huh. um, my youngest son, Creighton, works with Nichols Cawley oh, uh, yes. in their Atlanta office. Wow. My son is an oldest son, Brandon, is in the software industry. Yes. And, my, uh, and Lindsay travels. She was a physician recruiter 
uh, traveling all over the southeast. Her territory was from Maine to Miami, oh, and she wow. did that for quite some time. But uh, being a former student athlete at Georgia Southern, they were wanting to open up an office in Atlanta for the Athletic Foundation, and they approached her about uh, running that. that office. And uh, she did that for up until the time she had the first child. And after the baby, they decided it would they would be able to stay at home and yeah. do that. So it's worked out really well for them. And they grow up so fast. Yeah. I mean, in no time, they're going to be in school. So yeah. she can just go back and do that. So your kids are basically in Atlanta? Yep. All, they, all three children live within five minutes of each other. Yeah. So I have we, um, two in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, maybe one of these days we buy a helicopter between the two <laughs> <Yeah>. of us <laughs> and take turns. Yeah. It would help that traffic up there. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Um, at what point the Sir Shop became a member of the Chamber of Commerce? We joined the chamber uh, actually before we ever opened the doors of the business. Uh, Miss Brandon was uh, right there at City Hall. The chamber had a little uh, office right there on the side of the building, mm -hmm. and I met her uh, when I first moved to town. I was getting the power turned on, getting the water hooked up, all the things you do to start a business, That's and business. went in and met her and met the other folks that were associated with the chamber. and. So we joined actually before we ever started business. Well, I think that was very smart. I think that uh, that is the very first thing, you know, uh, someone that is opening a new business should do. Well, it's a great network. It's a great opportunity to, to meet other small business uh, people and meet various leaders in the community, whether it be government officials or uh, city officials, whatever but it's a great network and uh, we wanted to be plugged in to be a part of the community yeah. and I felt like that was a great place for us to start. It was uh, good. Now you mentioned your wife is retired now. That's correct. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> That sounds so good. Yeah. But sometimes when you retire you're more busy than when you were working. And that's, that's the case. Um, her mother's in Savannah and um, she, her sister is in Connecticut so uh, up until about a year ago, her brother was in New Orleans, uh -huh. uh, so she was the closest. So she would go to Savannah and help her mom with some things, and then with the babies in Atlanta, she goes there. So she's either headed to Atlanta or Savannah. Yeah. So <laughs> she's Savannah. actually retired from a paycheck, but she's not retired <laughs> from the working. <laughs> from the working. Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to the Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. um, we mentioned that it was a great idea for you guys to, mm. to do that and to become members of the chamber even before you open. Um, what would you tell someone out there? Um, why is it for you it was a great idea to be a member of the chamber? Well, I think um, as a small business owner, it's hard to have uh, things going on in your business and also having enough time to dedicate for other interests that you might have inside the community or state level or even on a, a national level. And the Chamber's a great uh, advocate for small business from that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gives you a hub for all of you to come together and pool your resources and try to do things that are good for the community. And exactly. if it's good for the community, it's good for, uh, for, for all of us. And, <laughs> yes. and the stronger we are as a business community, the better offerings we can make to the people here in Dublin, Lawrence County, and surrounding counties. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a very short break. And um, please stay tuned. We're going to take a short break. Don't go away, please. We're back. And thank you for staying with us. I'm sitting here with Mike Cummins, um, co-owner of Sir Shop, and we're having a delightful conversation. <laughs> Mike, um, I know you were a chair of the chamber board. What year was that? 2000 and 2001. And you know, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, uh, the highlights of that year when you were chair? Uh, probably one of the most significant uh, accomplishments we had that year was we implemented the Keystone membership. 
And these were um, individuals and businesses within the chamber membership mm -hmm. that uh, saw a need with our staffing uh -huh. as far as uh, being able to give them additional training to um, supplement with their um, salaries mm -hmm. and their benefits. We uh, had quite a bit of turnover because there's a high visibility. Right. A lot of people within the community interact with the chamber staff and if yeah. you've got a really strong key employee, right. then all of a sudden people will approach them. Exactly. So we uh, went to various people and asked if they would, uh, in addition to their normal dues that they would pay annually, if they would supplement that as a member of the Keystone. And um, it was a huge success and yes. it continues today. And, and those individuals and businesses have done a great thing for this community by by doing that because our, our retention rate of employees uh, was much better. We were able to send them to special training, yes. which made them much better for us at the chamber and made themselves much uh -huh. better in the roles that they played at the chamber. You know what I love about this community? Every time we need something, people pull they together and they do it. They do. It's, they, you know. And the th amazing thing is um, sometimes we as citizens don't realize it as much as outsiders. Mm -hmm. When you go to industry and trade and various yeah. state organizations <laughs> that go and they'll go all around the state and they see the interactions between city and county government or various uh, yep. business, uh, they can, it stands out when you've got a community like the, Dublin that in Lawrence County that work well. Is, yes. And they tend to, when there's a major project and there's something that needs to happen, they they work on it together and, and, right. and it's recognized for that. Yeah, and people, I mean, all we need is to ask and people immediately respond. Yeah. And I think that is great, you know, in a community like ours. Yeah. Um, I, I know, um, I think that it was something else. I mean, there was a bunch of things that happened during that year. Yeah, we, um, we did the student of the quarter. Uh-huh. Uh, in doing that, we wanted to recognize various students at the high schools, the um, four high schools in the county, right. in Lawrence County in Dublin, and um, to let them know that the business community Care recognize that their hard work. Yes. And, and, and so each quarter we would recognize an individual, and, um, and that's been 15 years ago, and we yes. still do it. So uh, it's, it's been something, I think, that it's good for the business community to interact with these young people, but it's also good for the young people to know that the adults in the community um, care, care and, about it and want to see them successful. And, and they're interested about, you know, that. Now, let me tell you, on, uh, I believe that those students, uh, after being recognized here, they're more likely to think, I would love to come back to this community and work in this community because uh, it's a community that care and, and uh, give me support and all that stuff, I, I imagine. I think so, and, and I think the success that, that we've had in the last 15 years has made us a lot more attractive to New kids, and the kids, right, and the kids that go away to school, mm -hmm. where they may not have thought Dublin was a real great place to come back to. Now, all of a sudden, uh, we may be a viable mm -hmm. place for them to look. Exactly. And, um, or if they do go to Atlanta for a few years, maybe they like the little slower pace that we might have <laughs> yes. here. So. Yeah. Uh, but we've got, I think, a lot of great things to offer young people, and, and that's what we need to continue to make us green and growing is to yeah. have that youth coming back and somebody to push and uh, carry it like the older group has done for exactly. years. Exactly. You know, a lot of people say, Pilar, your kids are in Atlanta uh, interpreting for the court system. You can still do it in Atlanta. Why don't you consider moving to Atlanta? Dublin is my home, yes, <laughs> and I love Dublin. Yeah. So uh, I love my children too, but is this is my home? Yeah. I'm happy here. Great community, great lot of good it's, things. It's, yeah. Another thing that I know it happened during that year was the industry, the golf tournament appreciation. 
the golf tournament, and, uh, which we just had had one. last week. Yeah, um, industry appreciation started before I even moved to Dublin. Oh. Arden Ellis was a employee uh, for J.P. Stevens, uh -huh. and they started doing a little promotion to recognize the industry and the impact that it had financially, the number of employees that were employed by all the various industries in our county, uh -huh. and it was a celebration for really for the employees of those industries. Right. And, um, and Arden was a good friend, and he got me involved in it. And uh, Arden ended up moving from uh, Dublin up to the Carolinas, and I took over as chairman of Industry Appreciation Day, ah. and uh, did chair that you for, did for, for twenty oh, years, twenty yeah. something years, yes. and uh, and and they grace you know graciously let me step down it was a, <laughs> a a lot of responsibility we grew it to have over 300 and something participants uh, yes. had three golf courses uh -huh. uh, full of, of golfers for that day we had tennis we had bowling and a big celebration that night with the dinner and it was uh, it was a great great event and uh, we started the Arden Ellis Award uh -huh. to various people within the community that supported that event and did a lot of things um, to make that what it is today. Yeah, well, it's amazing, and I had a great time, and as always, I always look forward to that. Yeah. I, I'm not a gopher. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I really... Uh, to me, it's a little slow. Yeah, well, uh, that day is extremely slow, but, yeah. but it's, a, it's a fellowship, and, exactly. and it brings a lot of people together within the community that you really, your paths don't cross exactly. because of the work um, schedules and, and the way that everybody travels. And, and that's stuff. why, you know, I, I always end up going over there um, because of the fellowship and, you know, just seeing everybody, and I enjoy that. Yeah. Another thing that happened in that year was Bragg. The, they came to Dublin right. for two and a half two days. Two and a half days. We had the bicycles ride across Georgia, um, and there was another community effort. Uh, uh -huh. We had, they had campsites all over, the all over West Lawrence and Dublin Absolutely. High School. Uh, they used the showers at the locker rooms. Uh, we had bands playing. We had uh, all the restaurants had specials for the riders, yes. and um, and it was a community effort just to accommodate that many people for exactly. that period of time, and it was a, a lot of fun. Another thing that I really appreciate that I enjoy and I like is the shop at home. Yeah, um, I think it's a very good way because I believe in in spending money here in town. Uh, but you know, if you go to the chamber and you got the certificates, right. that's a great <clears throat> way to help our community. That is, uh, that is an ongoing project that is also probably an educational uh -huh. um, item, I think. Um, most consumers don't realize the impact they have within the community when they spend money here. Absolutely. And it, turns over seven times mm -hmm. and when you shop locally mm -hmm. and that gives those store owners opportunity to increase their inventories to give uh -huh. the customer a better selection exactly it gives them an opportunity to hire additional staff mm -hmm. that gives employment small business being one of the largest uh, employers there is exactly and then all of these businesses get contacted by the cheerleaders, the baseball team, the football team, yep. uh, your various churches, um, all of the different uh, fundraising that needs to be done in yep. the community, and that allows those small businesses to give back to all those organizations. Absolutely. And um, I've often kidded some of these people. I said, you know, go to the Macon Mall and tell them you're with the Touchdown Club mm -hmm. and ask them for a donation, and they'll mm -hmm. look at you. They like, like what? what? <laughs> so. It's, it's, it's sort of a hand-in-glove type deal. I mean, yeah. um, the, the businesses do support local charities and yes. local uh, school activities and things, but the consumer uh, has a big, big voice when they shop locally and, and helps the economy grow and it helps these businesses grow. Do you hear that? Shop at home. <laughs> We're going to take another short break, okay. so we'll be right back. 
All right, we're back, and I'm still here with my comments, and we're talking about the Chamber of Commerce, our wonderful Chamber of Commerce. Very much so. Another thing that um, uh, it happened during the year that you were the chair um, was the Welcome Center. I think that is wonderful. Yeah, it was pretty exciting Saturday morning. Uh, Judge Flanders and his family donated the property uh -huh. uh, for the Welcome Center, which is wow. out by the Cracker Barrel. But at the time, there was not much out there. Exactly. Just that exit. Uh, but we went out and had a groundbreaking that morning and yes. um, fortunate to get some state funding mm -hmm. to get it going. We had the uh, tourism money that goes uh, for the promotion of tourism in right. Dublin Lawrence County so we were able to use utilize some of that money but um, it was a great opportunity it's to have wonderful. something out there for people getting off the interstate yeah. because you know honestly when you talk to people and they're not familiar with Dublin mm -hmm. and oh yeah I know it. we stop at McDonald's or we yeah. stop at you know Zaxby's or whatever because right. they jumping off the interstate and it's pretty far from the, the inside of the city limits exactly and so um, it's yeah and not too close to the chamber right. or, you know to go and and find out right. more so there's a lot of information that they can get there from the welcome center that is just amazing and you know another thing that I think is amazing is people volunteering right to be there and to greet the people mm -hmm. that are coming yeah that is just uh, that is just great um, now um, since you became a member of the chamber for the first time and since you end up being the chair in 2000, 2001, have you seen it changes in our chamber oh, and right. our community? Yes. Um, you know, we, we're still a very strong agriculture yes. community in the county and everything. And, and I think back in the uh, early 70s when we came here, and we had some industry, but um, yeah. the diversity, I think, that we've got, when you've yes. got a Best Buy, you've got a fresh dis distribution right. in the various types of um, industries that we yeah, have here. Yeah, like YKK, I mean, right. from all kinds of it's, different... It's kind of, um, I think you sort of insulate yourself a little bit with the economy when you're so diversified that one yeah. part of the economy doesn't get as hit as hard as maybe another and in sort of a uh, yin and yang effect <laughs> there but uh, but I, I think that we have got a tremendous the development authority in the chamber and the city and the county governments working together I yeah. think we've got a great future for uh, Lawrence County with the proximity to the port in oh, Atlanta yeah. and being on I-16 so um, I think and being I, in the center of the state of Georgia right. <laughs> yeah I think we've got a um, I think we've got a lot to look forward to in the next five to ten years and our relationship with industry and trade and the yes. fact that they know that that we work together so well here I think we're blessed we very are blessed well thank you so much for being here with me thank you thank you and I me. really enjoy talking to you and getting to know you better well thank you yeah and all of you out there, thank you so much for watching and until next time.